Chad and I got you. Always a blessing to start your morning with a topwater strike. Big or small, I'll take them all. Welcome on back to the channel, everybody. We are out in the Crispy Collector today. We're on a bluegill mission, but I just had to start with the topwater. Me, I'm up at the crack of dawn. You gotta get your popper on and do a little bloop bloop, you know what I'm saying? But one of the reasons I wanted to get some bluegill is to uh, do some catfishing as well. I wanna set out, um, some trot lines, some jug lines, and just collect them kitty cats because they're so delicious. Bluegill are like, they're like the pork chop of the lake. Fun fact, Lunkers and I caught a nine pound bass on a bluegill head. Like not even a full bluegill. This was on a jug line. So I'm telling you, everything loves to eat them. So I've made up a little box here, just got gill stuff in it. Uh, very small little crankbaits. I've got small little uh, some swim baits. I've just got real small hooks. You need small hooks when you're going after true bluegills. Other sunfishes uh, like warm mouths and green ears and red ears maybe. Some that have the, the bigger mouths, not a, not a problem for eating like regular crappie hooks and even bass hooks sometimes. Oh, there's a gar. Oh, you missed him. You missed him. Sorry, I wasn't quick enough with the camera. But anyways, y'all. Um, we're gonna get some gills. We've got our meat necklace here. We've come to collect in the crispy. So let's get her done. So I'm gonna rig up one of these just tiny, tiny saucy swimmers on a 132nd ounce head. So that's gonna be option number one or two, whatever. We're gonna have two options. So that little bit smaller profile than this, this is a much bigger weight, bigger plastic. And then we're gonna rig up what's probably gonna be the key player. And I'm gonna do a little cork rig. And I'm gonna try just one of these tiny little jigs. Micro ice jigs. Got these out of a MTB box. I think it was a panfish box, actually. Put that on there. Let me mix that up, try a swim bait. And obviously if you put like a little grub, like a live little grub or any piece of worm or anything, it's gonna get destroyed on this type of rig. That would be what I would recommend the most, but I like fishing lures. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So we go hitting the cork, not hitting the jig. There they go. Oh, oh. Got him. Actually, not bluegill, but we'll take them. Got them on the little jig head. String them up today now. Hang them out over the crispy. Oh, we got him. Oh, gum! I got a bass. Little minis. The old snake. What do we got here? 
Want some of this lure, baby? Want some of that action? I didn't want it. Doesn't want the smoke. Mmm. Got him. Another pretty one. Oh, look at that tiny mouth. You gonna make good bait. You gonna make good bait. Oh yeah, there's a fatty, there's a nice big fatty, always one on the ramp, mm, that's probably one I'm going to put in my mouth right there, that one's not going to be bait, this is an actual gill, these, um, not, I can't remember, I can't remember what they are, but they're diff They're not bluegill. All of them, though, are in the sunfish family, including largemouth bass. So you can see the difference there. Very pretty, though. I think those are, no, I'm not even gonna say. Green ears, blue ears. Right now, I think I've got four. Got one ham bone, and the rest are just little hors d'oeuvres. I was actually trying up in the marinas because usually you get, you know, giant bluegill to hang out in marinas. People drop stuff off the dock, and you get these megalodons that just are like corn and bread fed. But I was just getting tiny little bites. So actually, the most action I've seen is uh, is on the main lake. So there's a lot of them that are starting to move deep. I think that are already done spawning, but they'll bluegill stay up shallow all year. That's that's the crazy thing about them is you can find gills and sunfish uh, anywhere in the lake. Honestly, you can fish them in two foot, fish them in forty foot. Let's see if we can get a couple rando pops with the little. 132nd ounce jig swimmer. Oh, I got him. Got him on the swimmy. It's got to be sizable if he's eating the swimmy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is what we want. Eating the swimmy and pee pee into. On the meat necklace you go. That's a pretty good one there. It's about, about as big as they come out on this lake. Mmm, oh yeah. Couldn't stand it. Came back for it four or five times. Perfect little bait, or if you wanted to eat it, descale it. Oh my gosh, wham bam. That should be a better one there. Oh yeah, wide body. Wide body coming in. There's an eater. Yeah, you wanted it, you wanted it. Oh yeah, there we go. Wabaya. Another wide body. Love to see it. Come on in. Oh no! God. Lost him at the boat. That was a good one. That was a good one to have. Oh, here we go. Come on, baby. Get in here. We mess around. Decent one. It's not a bluegill, but it's a decent one. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah. Bait. Oh, gosh. Full attack. Full attack mode. Your bait. Nice little pork chop for a catfish. Uh. Come here now. Little bait. Tiniest little bait. Well, y'all, I think our necklace is getting pretty full here we got her done y'all the meat necklace is pretty full back there I've got two or three on each little deal so got enough for a meal and enough for bait it's perfect wow get it? because they're on a necklace yeah. did you know that? They're on a necklace, you can just pull them all out. Yeah, I want to hold one. You can hold You hold all of them. Yeah. That's my girl. <sighs> ben is taking a nap, so uh, we're just kind of playing outside with Emmy. Just checked on the chickens. They are good. Um, I think I know what is going on here with this motor, too. This has been bugging me because... I just realized when I got home, I started charging it. I was like, that, it's like it's not even connected to a battery. Um, so there's some sort of electrical issue. It's not that the battery was low in power. You know, I thought a new battery would get, get it working. It did not. So I need to find, I think there's a fuse box on this thing somewhere that I need to find. And maybe this will help somebody if I figure it out found a little fuse box so if you have one of these little engines your trim stops working or your electric start this might be the reason let me this doesn't look uh, doesn't look good try to pull this out without losing it uh, yeah that fuse you guys probably can't see inside of there that fuse is broken I'm hoping that this is an extra fuse right here that's included with it. 20 amp fuse. Oh, I think it is. I think it is. Oh my goodness, if this works. Okay, that's in there. I'm gonna cut this charger off real quick. Okay, if this works, I'm going to be a happy camper. Oh my gosh, that was it. That was it, that was totally it. Little. There we go. Now she's working smooth. We are done fishing for the day, y'all. I'm not going to uh, to uh, cook these on camera. Um, I've got another video that I've done before cooking whole bluegill. And that's probably how I'll do these. Is just frying them uh, whole, just pan frying them. Um, but mostly these are going to go towards the trot lines that and the jug lines that I need to go build. Right now I have some left over uh, that, are, that are still working, but some I just need to fix up and uh, put new hooks on and everything like that. So that is what I'm gonna be doing next. Hopefully we get them online. So stay tuned for all that action. Smash that like button for outdoor greatness. God bless you, Godspeed, and I'll see you on the next one.